Fueled by DeathCast. You know, this was huge for me too because at the time, the commercials that I were, I were doing were like very, very small. Um, mm -hmm. They gave me enough money to make two spots for them um, and do them right. And I still use them on my reel to this day, especially that janitor one. And it was a nice exercise too of like most commercials that I do, it's like there's already a creative in place. It's like, you know, big ad agency and client, they have a thing, they're just looking for a director to execute. This was like, hey, we want to make a spot, what do you think? And we worked together, came up with these ideas and executed. And then I've just been tight with John and Mike ever since. Kristen, I know it's already late, but I'm going to need you to work through the night. I need those reports on my desk first thing in the morning. I help them get some of their products in writer's rooms and this, that, and the other, and they'll hit me up. Uh, I helped them when they were, um, before winning the QuickBooks thing, I did some social media stuff with them to help push that. That's excellent. Yeah. And, and they were just good dudes. They, they came really out to are. LA and we hung out. And I set them up with meetings at like Comedy Central, um, Adult Swim, where else? We did a video with Makers Studio. I set, At the time, I set them up with Makers. I just, I just dug that they were so like, punk rock and hustlers, you know? And we still are to this day, yeah, totally. 100%. Yeah. Um, can we talk a little bit about those? Because, I mean, again, this is before I even started working for the company, but some of the first stuff I ever saw for the company yeah. were the videos you made yeah, for the company. The wild. skateboarder video yeah, yeah. and the janitor video are yeah. like my, some of my favorite stuff that the company's ever done. Can we talk That's about how that kind of came to be? Yeah, so it was like the janitor one was after Necro Gobblecon. They're like, you know, we want to do some more traditional spots but still have that punk flair. And um, I just thought like, you know, I was drinking Death Wish because I'm a coffee addict and I drink it every morning. But I was like, who else would really benefit from this? Like, what are some jobs that like you'd really want to fuel yourself? And I thought about like the night shift, you know, we thought yeah. about the janitor. And then also like, you know, a lot of my friends will make fun of me on set, no matter what we're shooting, if it's EDM, country, whatever, I listen to metal like throughout the day in my headphones to kind of keep me going. Right. So that's like what inspired the janitor. I was like, this guy's like about to pass out. He's like on the night shift cleaning toilets and then he drinks the death wish and it like infuses metal. And then that song's Necrogoblicon. And then the skate video was, my buddy Andrew Harris is a filmmaker and a musician, and he was trying to get more stuff into his reel. And I introduced him to John and Mike. I'm like, he's tight with these skaters. They should do a skate video. I'll produce it. Andrew will direct it. And they shot it all in this neighborhood, like all up and down. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's so they bad. live like right up the street. <laughs> all right, all right. Settle down, settle down. Uh, this one goes out to all you late risers. It's called Kush Living. It's 1230, traffic on the 405. Podcast brought to you by Deathwish, world's strongest coffee.
And that was just another one where it was like they just wanted to put out cool content, you know? Yeah, it's yeah. so really rad. Yeah, John and Mike are like the best. They really are. Yeah.